Hey guys, we're gonna dive right into solving a common 3D printing problem when your filament isn't feeding through properly. If you've ever experienced this frustrating issue or you're experiencing it now, make sure you stick around and try the fixes that I'm gonna say in this video and hopefully that's gonna help you fix the problem. So the first thing I'd say, which is probably the easiest one, is just to increase your printing temperature. A lot of people might be printing too low for the optimal temperature for it to feed through. So the higher the temperature, the more the filament melts, which allows it to feed through better. So if the filament isn't melting through that well, it's gonna not be flowing through the nozzle as you know, fast as it should. Next thing is the filament pathway from the extruder down to the nozzle and even before the extruder, right? So the entry of the filament through to the extruder shouldn't be a sharp kind of curve, right, like that, because that's gonna basically mean that your extruder is gonna have to work a lot harder to be able to actually move the filament through. And because of that harder work, it's gonna be feeding through less than what it should be. So make sure there's a smooth kind of gradual or straight line through to the extruder, and then that's gonna give you a better filament pathway. And another thing is making sure that your pathway is free of debris and it's not like dusty, it's not accumulating dust over time. Because if you do have any blockages like that, that's going to also contribute to having filament feeding issues as well, right? So yeah, you want to check for loose filament anywhere in the pathway because that can happen over time. And another thing, if you do change materials often from low temperature filaments to high temperature filaments, you might find that one of the high temperature filaments, there's still a bit of you know, debris left in there. From a previous print so you can use a cleaning filament to basically clear out any of that material and then it's going to have a smoother cleaner kind of pathway for your filament to feed through next up we can discuss retraction settings so believe it or not your retraction length or speed can have an effect on your filament feeding slices have gone pretty good at determining kind of default settings so this shouldn't be an issue for most people but what you want to do is have a good starting point of anywhere from two to five millimeters retraction distance. If you have a Bowden setup, you wanna go for four to five millimeters. If you have a direct drive uh, extruder setup, then you wanna go from around about one to two millimeters for that. So you can fine tune your retraction settings using various kind of calibration tests. A simple one is a retraction tower. So you can automatically adjust your retraction settings uh, as it moves up the tower. So the first tower might have, you know, one millimeter, the next one has two millimeters, the next one has three. So you can basically introduce a script through your slicer software and basically have that adjusting as it goes on the print. And then you can see the difference in how your filament feeds through with the different retraction settings, right? So another common problem that is a bit hard to notice is your worn out PTFE tube. Now with the heat coming from the hot inside where the nozzle is, over time the heat can actually like damage the PTFE tube at the end and that can over time cause issues with your filament feeding through, right? So make sure you disassemble your extruder at the hot end, just take it out, check the PTFE tube. If you're seeing kind of damage at the end, it should be pretty like clear to see, then you're gonna wanna change that over for some new PTFE tube. And make sure you go with the Capricorn stuff because you don't wanna go with the cheap, like stock PTFE tube. The Capricorn stuff is a premium stuff that has a bit of a higher temperature resistance. So definitely don't cheap out on that. Now, another thing is your spring tension on your extruder. If you have spring tension that's too high, it's gripping the filament really tough, but stronger grip doesn't always mean that it's gonna be better for your filament pathway like feeding, right? Same with loose, you don't want it to be too loose so it's barely gripping. You want it to be in the middle in terms of the pressure. So double check that your spring tension is at a good optimal level, about halfway in between. When the pressure is too high, it can actually eat away at your filament. And when it's too low, there isn't enough grip for it to push through the filament system. So do some experimentation with the spring tension and find the sweet spot for your 3D printer. Worn out extruder gears is another thing that can cause this issue. So with your extruder, you have the gear, which is the small part that has all the teeth around it, right? So if the teeth get worn out over time, that's gonna affect issues. That's gonna affect your filament feeding um, kind of pathway. So double check the gear, make sure it's not looking too worn out. And if it is, make sure you get a new gear and switch that over so it's as good as new. I also recommend going for an extruder that's all metal because the plastic ones over time, they can break. Um, the metal ones are obviously gonna be a lot more durable and they're not too expensive as well. The last thing I check is the extruder motor. 
so make sure the motor or the cables are looking good nothing's worn out there's no like loose pins or anything like that and what you can do to check your extruder motor is take the motor the motor from the extruder and switch it with another axis right and then check if after that the extruder is working well because if the motor from another part is basically making the extruder work better then you know that your extruder's motor is the one that's having an issue so then you want to inspect that maybe you can buy a new motor to switch that out so some final things to keep in mind make sure you double check your printing temperature and that is optimal for your filament check that your extruder motor has enough strength to be pulling through the filament make sure that the extruder spring tension isn't too high for the setup and if all else fails you want to disassemble your extruder and clean it and then have a good inspection to make sure everything is in order yeah thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and whichever fix helped you fix your issue make sure you comment it below and you know get some more details if you want that can definitely help out with other people also having the same issue i like to hear other people's stories and experiences to see what helped them because we can always come up with some new kind of fixes and new ideas to help out